the world of AI, this first one is so cool. It's creating AI generated characters inside of CapCut. So go to CapCut.com. You're gonna have to be on Chrome, Google Chrome. The great thing about this is it's completely free. All of these tools are actually completely free to use, but make an account inside of CapCut.com. You're gonna come to the start page, go to magic tool, scroll down and you'll see AI character. Go ahead and click on that. On the left here, we have hundreds of different AI characters that we can choose. When you found the one you wanna use, it's gonna put it on the timeline. Simply by clicking on your timeline, you have all these different features here. We can say full body, we could go half body and kind of zoom him in a bit. We could even go to close up, zoom him in even more so that it covers the screen. We also have the ability to change what he's saying, which is probably the most crucial point. We don't want him to just say, hey, good to see you. So I've just chosen charming male. Once you're done, click apply. You can see in about a minute, it changed from, hey, good to see you, to buy my digital products. By the way, please buy my digital products. Anyways, what this has done is changed the way and the- uh, Buy my digital products. You can see the lips of our AI character are moving according to exactly the words that we put under narration. What's great here is obviously you have full editing capabilities, change your background, you know, add a different background. It really does allow for full customization. You can't get this kind of AI character inside of the CapCut desktop app or on your phone, but go ahead and use CapCut.com and you have access to literally hundreds of amazing AI characters which you can use for pretty much any reason. The second is something and a feature that I have fallen in love with over the last couple months. It's vocal isolation. Now, if you have a song and you just wanna isolate the vocals of that song, or if you have a video from a client or a video that already has music on it and it has someone speaking, this tool is for you. So I've just imported a song into it. Let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. So clearly there's music under the vocals. If I go to vocal isolation, let me just shorten this quickly so it speeds up this process. If I go to vocal isolation under my, you know, I click the sound, I go to basic and I go vocal isolation and I toggle that on and we have keep, vo keep vocal toggled on. Listen to how this sounds. It is, it blows my mind every time. I never thought I could shake this heartache. Until I saw you lie. I mean, what on earth is that? Pretty seamlessly, it removes the actual audio and the music portion of it and just keeps the vocals. Alternatively, we could say remove vocal. It's gonna process and listen to how crazy this is. Magically, somehow magically, our vocals are gone or our music is gone. I, someone explained this to me, but that is just, it blows my mind. And there really are so many use cases. Like you can isolate your vocals on terrible sounding audio. If the audio already has music embedded in it, you can isolate the audio. It just, you can make karaoke videos with this. It's, yeah, it's incredible. I hope you get that I'm passionate about this one. The third one is also just so cool. It's auto reframing directly from CapCut desktop. So let's say you've shot a video in horizontal, right? You're putting your phone like this or you're shot it on your camera and you wanna export it for Instagram. Now your subject, like my buddy here from Field Life Jade, is walking or moving in the frame. It just is so easy to use this auto uh, reframe feature. Click on your video, go to video, go to basic. In CapCut, go to auto reframe. Now, what you wanna do is change your reframe ratio to nine by 16. And I just leave image stabilization and camera movement, uh, camera movement speed as normal. It's kind of giving us a preview here, but watch what happens when I click apply. I've taken a horizontally shot video. When he defeated Alexander Winton. And it is perfectly tracking our subject. Racer slash builder of the era for the entire duration of the video, literally within seconds. The next feature is something that CapCut users already know and love dearly, that is auto captions. CapCut has insane auto captions. I'm gonna do it on two use cases here. So obviously we have our video and our song. All you have to do, and again, this is like a number of clicks, go to text, go to auto captions. We can literally change our language to English and say generate and watch what happens here in a couple seconds. We have now generated auto captions on our video and I've used this for little short videos. I've used this for an hour long podcast. It really is insane. What's even greater, and this is kind of another tip leading into it, so stay tuned for that. But what we have when we click on our text file is access to animations. And if you go to animation and go to CapCut, you really get access to a ton of popular animations that you've seen all over social media. So for instance, let me just click one. 
in 1901, he defeated... I mean, here we have the kind of box moving with the text, which is insane. I'm gonna show you something as well. What we would need to do is highlight both of them and select that. It'll automatically apply that effect to both of them. We could go multi-line, which is so cool. Defeated Alexander Winton. One that I love and use for a ton of videos is called Bounce Out. It, it creates an animation per word as the person says it. In 01, he defeated Alexander. And then over to the left, there's templates and you would have definitely seen these if you have social media. Stay selected on your text file and click any of these templates that you can preview just by hovering over. So if I choose this first one, it's gonna give us this kind of yeah, same as Bounce Out. Let's find another one. There we go. Let's try this one that has a bit of a... When he defeated Alexander. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't ask for a more seamless auto captions feature. Now, while we stay on this auto captions, let me show you what happens when you do music. You can create a karaoke effect. So go to text, go to auto captions, say auto lyric, and we can say generate. And what this has done is created auto lyrics for this part of the song. So check this out. Love is holding all the cards. Done within seconds. And again, we have the same feature to animate this and we can go to karaoke, we can do type, so we can have a bunch of different features. And again, without spending too much time, we have those animation, those same animation tools that we had for auto captions. For feature number five, this is kind of on the same trend of auto captioning. There are super cool motion graphics embedded directly into CapCut. So all you need to do, let me delete this text layer. All you need to do is go to text, say add text, and let's create a default text layer. On any text layer, you can go to animation and you have in, out, and loop, right? So for in, we have all these different effects that we can use. I mean, there's literally hundreds. You can change the duration if you wanted to, for this one I've used typewriter, if you wanted to type on slower, you could change that animation, speed. You could even go to templates and there's tons of different templates that you could use, but there are just such cool motion graphics that you can do. Here's a little bonus one before we get to number six. If you have your text layer, go to text to speech, grab any of these texts. Jesse is like a super, super, super popular text and just say start reading. What that's gonna do is generate a audio file according to whatever text you have. Default text. Just like that, we have something that says default text, which is what our text reads. That feature as well, the, the text to speech I use all the time. CapCut is good for text, let's move on. The sixth one is super cool for you. It's adding text behind your subject, an effect I use all the time on the channel, and it's so easy inside of CapCut. No masking, no manually cropping off people, it's pretty automated. So all you need to do is duplicate this text layer. I'm gonna hold down Option on Mac and drag it above. Alternatively, just copy your video layer. So right click and say copy, paste it next to your, net, your other video layer and drag it on top just like that. You just need one video layer on top of the next. On your top video layer, go to video, cut out, and say auto cut out. Automatically cut out our subject from our video, and the text is gonna be kind of the hamburger in between the top video layer, which is a cut out of us, and the bottom video layer, which has the background and us in addition. And again, we still have full access to change this text. We can do whatever we want with it, and uh, yeah. How cool is that, guys? And if I just play this video, you can see that it's done a pretty good job at, um, masking as the hand moves, like it doesn't look and mess around with the text too much. So really, really cool. The seventh feature that blows my mind in CapCut is a one-click motion blur application. Let me show you what I mean. On any video layer, you can go to video, basic, scroll down, and there's an option here to apply motion blur. Now, this isn't gonna be the best representation of it. So what I'm gonna do, and this is kind of another little trick, if we apply an animation to this text. So the animation I've applied is slide up and we can see that there's no motion blur on the slide up. It's still a nice effect, it kind of fades out, but there's no motion blur. What we need to do is create a compound clip. This makes this layer act like a video layer. Then what we can do is go to basic, scroll down and apply our motion blur. Let me wait for this to process and I wanna show you what happens. We now have motion blur applied to this text layer as it swipes up. And we all know motion blur makes things look spicy and nice. I love the way that motion blur makes things look. Let me show you another application where I've used motion blur. So this is a car reel that I edited inside of CapCut. And you can see I've applied motion blur wherever there's fast movement, the ground you can see there is kind of blurry and then it slows down when the video slows down. And then as soon as it speeds up again, there we go. You see the ground is kind of in focus there and then it speeds up and it goes and we have that motion blur. I think it's created a very cool effect. 
Moving from motion blur, this leads me on into the eighth feature, which is inbuilt speed ramp curves. Now I have a ton of different guides which have done really well on the channel as to cap cuts, like the, the intricacies of the speed ramp curve, but it's super simple. Click on your video, go to speed, you're natively gonna be on normal. You can obviously adjust your speed as you like. But what's really cool is if you go to curve, you have a bunch of pre-programmed curves that you can choose to edit your videos. Alternatively, if you don't like any of the curves, you can go to custom and create your own speed ramp curve. And that again is how I created this video that you're seeing on the screen right now. I use curves directly from CapCut, which we all love a good speed ramp video. So I think this is such an insane feature that they've added inside of CapCut. It's pre-programmed, it's pretty much automated. And again, if you wanna see some of those more intricate details on how to do and manipulate these curves, go check out another video. How many times have you walked away from a set and the client says, please make me look beautiful in post-production and you're thinking, for those who use Final Cut, how on earth am I gonna do this? CapCut has inbuilt beautification features on any video that has a human. You can select your video, go to basic, go to enhance, and we have the option to enhance our face, our facial beauty, add makeup, and even tweak our body, which is crazy. In face, you can go single mode or multiple mode, which is, you know, you can have 10 different faces in the shot and adjust all of them. But right inside of my face, let me zoom in here so you guys can see my beautiful face. If I select this on, we can smoothen my face out so it looks kind of artificial. We can brighten just my face and then we can whiten my teeth. That kind of looks cool and artificial. Uh, to make that look cool. In addition, go to facial beauty, toggle that on, and we can, you know, if I select mouth, we can increase or decrease the size of my mouth. If I go to face, we can slim me out a bit, decrease my chin length, make my chin shorter. Again, I'm just kind of exaggerating these values for you. But you can have uh, beautification features directly inside of CapCut without having to use something else. Let's add some makeup here for the sake of demonstration. If I go, okay, no, that, that's, uh, you, uh, that's that's kind of creepy. You get the point though. It like tracks your face and automatically applies these effects. Let's go ahead and turn that off. The point is you can enhance the way you look directly from CapCut. It's pretty cool and I've never personally used it, but I think if you have this and want this feature, it's there. The last one is importing custom LUTs and previewing them directly from the adjustment tab. It's super simple to do this and something that I think sets this software apart from you know other lower tier editing softwares go to adjustment go to LUT. inside of LUT, you can already see i've imported some different ones but all you need to do is click import select your cube file or your LUT file and say open what that's going to do is import it into your LUT media bin over here now on any video you can select the video go to adjustment under adjustment you can now select from one of those LUTs that we had inside of the media bin What's great about this as well is you can do a live preview on how each of them is gonna look. I know in Final Cut, you cannot do a live preview just from Final Cut. You have to use a third party application in order to get that live preview, or you have to select each, apply it, and then deselect it if you don't like it. So this is just a great feature. I mean, I can just swipe over and see, okay, this LUT isn't working, this LUT does work, this is cool. In addition, if we go to adjustment, we can add a custom adjustment. And on this adjustment layer, let's say I wanted to drag it over the whole timeline. On this adjustment layer, I can add the same set of LUTs that I've already imported into the software and I can do all my color adjustment, my HSL, and it'll apply top down. So everything underneath is gonna have the application of whatever we do on that adjustment layer. Similar application to how an adjustment layer works in different editing softwares, but it's cool that it can be done in CapCut. It's just another reason why the software is insane. So there are 10 features that I really think are insane. I wanna know what you think and which one is your favorite from the ones that I selected. There are so many more that I didn't cover on. So if you're trying to decide is this software cool, it is cool, it's free, and it's got some incredible, incredible features for you guys to use. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and showed you a bit of the incredible software that is out there today for editing. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.